Yes, so my name is uh, Edward Arkel. I work with 51 Degrees and uh, we're here uh, involved in this project introducing the Earth Ranger software to uh, the Maasai Mara. Our purpose is to uh, help with the construction of this new operations room which will uh, serve as a communications hub for the Maasai Mara and for the, uh, especially for the rhino monitoring and cheetah monitoring programs um, to help conserve those species. So um, Earth Ranger is a software that helps in protected area management and it's going to help uh, Narok County and the Maasai Mara to better monitor uh, tourism and their rangers uh, within the conservancy, to monitor patrols, uh, to monitor wildlife as well, um, and to get a bit, better idea of what's happening um, at any time within the reserve. So the way it works is that we have different sensors, uh, different trackers that are given to personnel. Um, there's wildlife collars and sensors that are put on, on rhinos and other wildlife. Um, and things that can be given to tourist vehicles in order to track their movements around the Maasai Mara. And at any point, uh, somebody can come into this operations room here, um, the, the management of the reserve, and they're able to see exactly what is going on uh, and make informed decisions about uh, where they're going to send their patrols, where they're going to send their people, and how they're going to allocate the resources within the Maasai Mara. Yes, so our role here, is, as well as introducing, is to train. Um, and we've been working as trainers, uh, making sure that the uh, Maasai Mara rangers themselves are completely uh, up to date with how to use the software. Um, and they're the ones who are going to be running it from, from now on. Uh, they're the ones who are going to be running it. We'll be here on a supporting basis. But uh, they've been fully trained on its use. Um, and at the moment, we have four operators within the command center who are going to be using the software going forward. It just now enables uh, when when it comes to now making decisions, for example, where are you going to uh, put up tourism facilities? Where are you going to uh, be able to better protect your, your wildlife? Where do you get to send rangers to protect your rhinos and your lions and your cheetahs? Um, those things are no longer going to be guesswork. Okay, they'll be able to use the data that they get from the software and from the people on the ground using the software um, to make those informed decisions so that everything is done in a targeted way there's no longer any, um, any guessing that's happening. Everything is done uh, according to the data that has been given to them and it's all informed decision making. I mean, we haven't worked with uh, Tanzania yet, but certainly it's something that's going to be looked at. I think uh, immediately the, the concern over here now is that now that we have this set up, we want to try and expand this software also to the conservancies which are bordering the Maasai Mara. And it's very important that they're also on board and they're able to share their information with Norok County. Um, we have already introduced Earth Ranger to KWS and it'll, this will now enable Narok County themselves and the Maasai Mara to better share data with KWS as well um, so that they're working more in partnership across the board. Um, so there's, there's been uh, quite a lot of sites now which are up in Kenya and different organizations that are using this. Um, as I've just mentioned, Kenya Wildlife Service uh, are using this and they've now rolled it out across the entire country. Um, and they're using Earth Ranger now as a management software. As well as KWS, we also have multiple conservancies, NGOs uh, working in the conservation sector who have also adopted Earth Ranger. On this uh, Masai Mara uh, Conservation Center that we are launching here today. Today, we are launching about three things. And the fourth one, we are going to launch on the 20th of November. The first one, is the launching of the Masai Mara Conservation Center. And all of you have seen this beautiful center. It is the one that is going to help us to manage this uh, resource. I think all of you have heard uh, from the previous speakers that this resource is going to help us greatly in managing this wonderful resource. Also, today we are also launching uh, the Masai Mara yearly magazine. We have never had one and from now on one because again of the data and information that we'll be collecting in this center, we will be launching our own magazine as Narrow County and as Mara. Uh, also, today we are launching uh, the stickers for guides. All of you remember that last year I did promise you 
that we are going to have stickers. Every guide in Masai Mara, and I'm told you are more than 200 and something, we are going to give you stickers. And remember that I said I will, uh, the county government will pay for that stickers from now October the 26th to October 2020, uh, October 26th next year. And from there, you will now be required to pay an annual fee of 10,000 per year going forward. But because, again, remember, you are supposed to pay these stickers at 50,000, but I have paid for you. So it is high time that all these um, you know, tour guides, who are part and parcel of this ecosystem, we need now to organize ourselves. And as um, your chairman has indicated, and also the MCA, I will come personally to sit down with you and then we'll solve all those problems. Because you are right, Chairman, the launching of these stickers was just one of the things that we say. But the others now will follow. Of course, the reason why I am now launching these as stickers is so that all of you can come together and be part and parcel of this ecosystem. Because that is the only way that we can manage uh, together this uh, uh, conservation area. Also, all of you know that um, today we were expecting our Cabinet Secretary for Wildlife and Tourism. She was not able to be with us because of exigence of work and she has promised that she's going to come here and she will visit the centre. But also, they are coming because of a very important institute. All of you remember, we have had for a long time a Wildlife Research Training Institute right over there near Sarofa. We have now renovated so that they work together with this centre in order so that we can all understand what is this Masai Mara National Reserve, both Masai Mara and Greater. And ladies and gentlemen, personally, I'm excited today. I'm excited for only three things. One, that um, about two years ago, when these people of Narok elected me as their governor, I had promised them, I am the son of the soil, and I'm going to do everything that is possible so that we can manage this uh, ecosystem the best way we can. And one of the management uh, plan that we had passed, one of the issues that was raised was actually to have a center whereby we can manage properly, we can collect data so that we can use for decision making. For a long time, we just used to guess work. We just guess that let's manage this because of this. But I'm happy today because we have this center, uh, and I must thank the game rangers led by Minis. The two people who had done presentation, and particularly the park warden, uh, I mean the, the, the section warden, uh, Mr. Steven uh, Olekenda. Uh, my son, you have done a good job, and I can see you will take us far by making sure that we use, we leverage on the technology to making sure that we manage our, conservancy, our, our conservation area. Administration, uh, send it to my dinner hour to what the tracks here, and these are the tracks. So you can now see when you come down, we have it, uh, 8 56 minutes. So I just want to open that one. The uh, center kick rock and uh, location the location monitor right now are five. The distance from observer are cross. So you can now see this is now. Is its uh, story is here. So you, I can just. Yeah. Hundred. That's it. By hundred on that day. Just. We can now uh, uh, event. Uh, a young Hila and and the old carcasses. Uh, so the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number one in the reserve I'm talking about. And uh, in put uh, or fix like this one into the also for validation by our managers. So the name of the rhino, uh, this is where it is.
uh, been able to place for, uh, three, two gate. Our website uh, for Masai Mara National Reserve is officially um, officially launched. And the uh, pro uh, uh, project that has been unveiled or over. So it talks about the culture experience. So we have uh, launched officially our own magazine, Masai Mara National Reserve Yearly Magazine. And the local. Thank you very much. Uh, the governor, the deputy collections, uh, a number of projects, including the women bidwork center. Uh, you have already been told is that function of security, visitation, the number of vehicles. Uh, Your Excellency, this uh, manage ecological management because habitats, including the wildlife, the forest, and other to effectively manage the reserve just to have zero coaching. Uh, sense, sense, senseless recording of uh, using the truck vehicles movement and also to combine Park Warden and his team are now able to cover them easily and also working closely with this. Excellency, the Indian Mugurisho, the Mimusi, that in I find yellow, yellow, the neck, like in the middle of the world, the world, the world, the sea, you are like your excellency, Corusia, Cosasa to party what one deputy governor.